everyone! This is the fun activity for Thursday, May 28th, 2020. Today we are going to be mixing some stuff together and seeing what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull up my sleeves and make sure I'm ready. So the things you will need for this is a bowl, a spoon, measuring cups that are the same. These are both a quarter cup some cornstarch, and some hair conditioner, like what you put in your hair in the bathtub or the shower. So those are the things that we need. So to start, we are going to take one of our measuring cups and we're going to fill it up with the conditioner. Whoops, I got some on the table. It doesn't really matter how, uh, what the measuring cup is as long as it's the same for both the conditioner and the cornstarch. It also doesn't matter what kind of conditioner you use. This kind that I have was very, very inexpensive. It did not cost a lot of money. Next, we're going to put the cornstarch in. Oops, I need to open it. We're going to do the same thing, only this time we're going to put in two measuring cups of it. Cornstarch is kind of messy, it likes to get everywhere, but it does wipe off pretty easily. So if you want to put a tray down or something like that, you can do that. I'm just going to go ahead and know that I'm going to get a little messy today and that's okay. All right, so once you have your one part conditioner and two parts cornstarch in your bowl, you can start to mix. Now you might remember that at school one time, we mixed water and cornstarch and that gave us oobleck. Well, this isn't oobleck, it's something a little bit different. I'm gonna hold, try and hold it like this so you can see what happens when I stir it? You can see it's kind of starting to look like a dough. I feel like I might need a little more conditioner, but I'm going to go ahead and keep stirring anyway, even though I feel like it needs more conditioner. I'm going to keep going, follow my recipe. Okay, once I have it kind of mixed together, I'm going to put it out on my table just like I would do oops, if I was making bread dough. And I'm gonna do the rest of the mixing with my hands. I'm gonna pat it down and fold it in, pat it down and fold it in and just keep doing that. And it's gonna be sticky for a little while. This is called cloud dough, and it's a little different from Play-Doh. It acts a little bit different. Um, it's kind of like the cornstarch in the water in that you think it's really sticky, but it's not. It acts sticky, and then the next moment it acts not sticky at all. It feels very, very soft. It's fun to squish and roll. I'm going to use my little measuring cup that I did the cornstarch and see if I can use it like a cookie cutter. Oh yeah, I did. I used it like a cookie cutter and cut out a circle, although I can't pull it up without it falling apart, but it feels really fun to play with. So there you go, cloud dough. And it smells really good because it smells like hair conditioner and hair conditioner usually smells really good. You can also see that it's getting the marker off my hands and going into the dough, which is okay. You could put food coloring in this if you would like to also um, to make it a different color, but I just thought it would be fun to do it this kind of light green color that my conditioner is. Make sure that you only play with this stuff in a place where your mom or dad says it's okay, and I hope you had fun making cloud dough with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.